Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. So today we are going to be exploring the fragrance Black Gemstone by Stefan Humbert Lucas. And I really do love the inspiration behind this fragrance. Um, it is inspired by the Black Stone of Kaba and the further inspiration of the scent is inspired by the works of the artist Pierre Soulage. And here are how some of his works do look. So you really get an insight into what, you know, the fragrance might smell like if you were to put that into a scent or vice versa. Yeah, so I really do like how, you know, a painting could be captured in a fragrance. I think that's really, really neat. Um, and also, you know, a fragrance, it's a work of art, right? And so is a painting. So you really have that really neat synergy going on between the two. Um, now, just before we actually jump into further exploring the fragrance, um, I do want to mention that I have also reviewed Wish Come True and as well Mortal Skin, which are some other fragrances by Stefan Humbert Lucas. So I will link those down below in case you are interested in checking those out after. Okay, so on to Black Gemstone. Um, and I do have it right here. So um, here it is in its box. Now, this was a fragrance that was launched in 2013, and it is also a fragrance for both men and women. All right, guys, so let's open this up and see what's inside. So there you go. And there it is, Black Gemstone. All right, so some first impressions on this scent. Um, you know, it opens up with a really, I would say a real kind of inkiness to it. Um, and this is the lemon and as well the cedar. Then you get this really gorgeous pungent woodiness in the composition, which is the resins and the myrrh. Now I did find this one to be dark, smoky, resinous, warm, dry, and as well sweet. Um, and I also did find that it had a heavy shellac smell to it. Um, and I feel that that's just the resins in it. So, you know, keep that in mind when checking this out and exploring it. Um, now, I will say on that note that my favorite notes in this fragrance um, were the wood notes and as well the resins. Um, yeah, it just really gave it like a really thick kind of presence to it, which I do really like. Um, and you know, I want to say also that when you put this on, you are hit with the dark and secretive and mysterious powers of a gemstone, perhaps an obsidian. Yes, a hauntingly dark, captivating and graceful presence flows from its wear. I would say it really does have that sort of vibe to it. Um, and I also want to mention that it really, the aroma of it really did remind me of an old wooden cabinet, or I even want to say um, an old wooden chest. Um, you know, the kind, mm, the kind that you would find at an antique shop, you know, those pieces of furniture, those special pieces that are full of wonder and, you know, just mystery, I would say. Um, yeah, it really has that sort of vibe to it. And it really just reminded me of that. 
Um, I also want to mention that it really does have a cuddly component to it. Um, yeah, that's the Tonka bean, which just makes it so nice and cozy. Um, so if you're looking for a fragrance that has that cuddly vibe to it, but you also like fragrances that have, you know, that woody resinous sort of scent to it or smell, then I would say this is one to check out because I think you'll really like it. Um, and in terms of the total personality of Black Gemstone, I would say it's sophisticated, elegant, definitely cuddly, captivating, and complex, as well as mysterious. And guys, let's just look at this bottle. Um, you know, I really have to say that I like this bottle design. It's definitely a work of art. And I really feel like Stefan Humbert Lucas's bottle designs, you know, they are quite a masterpiece. Um, if you check out my other reviews of Wish Come True and Mortal Skin, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like he takes the concept of the fragrance and he really just creates this design in the bottle that really captures what that scent is all about. Um, yeah, and you know, I feel like this bottle, you know, it's black gemstone, it's enticing, it's mysterious, it's dark, it's alluring, and yeah, it's, it's all those things and really just captures what I feel um, a black gemstone is all about. All right, guys, so when would you wear a fragrance like this? Well, I think that this is an ideal evening scent. Um, yeah, I think it's great for evening events, evening dinners, soirees, um, you know, maybe even sitting by the fire and, you know, enjoying a nice tea. Um, and I think it's great for all seasons, but I would particularly say that this is ideal for the cooler seasons or, you know, even a nice rainy day, a nice cold rainy day. Um, and in terms of style and accessories, great colors to pair with this, I would say are blacks, dark grays, so like a gunmetal type of color, um, dark browns, like those dark, deep, rich browns, um, and as well, you know, a nice mahogany kind of red. Um, also, I would say, you know, this is one that you could dress down or dress up. Um, you could be as simple, you know, as wearing, and this is for the guys and the girls, I would say, um, as simple as wearing a nice wool sweater, you know, one of those big cozy wool sweaters and jeans, um, or you could really dress it up. I would say for the guys, um, a nice blazer, jeans, dress pants for the girls a nice sleek dress maybe something you know with a one shoulder maybe something in black with one shoulder showing um you know just to kind of show a little bit of that more sophisticated sensual vibe and yeah i would say that that's about it guys anyways i hope you enjoyed this review don't forget to like and subscribe and you can always check out my page, which I will link below. Thanks so much, guys. Happy spritzing and happy styling.